Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom crayon card. These little crayon cards are really cute to give as party favors or just a little gift for a kid, and it comes with two crayons in it so they can color it right away. So I'm going to show you how to make your own custom one that you can put any images on or even your own art. From Cricut Design Space, you can go to the Projects tab. You have to filter here and go to Cricut Community. It won't work if you do all categories. Search for Heather Cash Art. And then you can start with my blank template here. I'll also have a link to the template in the description. From here, just click Customize. Here is the blank template. If you look over at the layers, you have this cut here, which is the shape, and then you have two score lines. The two score lines are right here and here, and those are just going to be where these are going to fold in, so then you can put the crayons through them. We can add in any kind of art we want. If you go to Images, or you can go to Upload and upload your own. The other thing you could do is find some free SVGs online. My favorite website for that is lovesvg.com. I'm going to search for outline because I figure outlined images are better for coloring. And here are a lot of good images for coloring. I think this one's cute, the little fox outline. So I'm going to download it. And then I just have to find the zip file and unzip it. And then the SVG is the one that we will upload to Design Space. So I'm going to go to Upload, Upload Image, find the SVG, and Upload, and then just insert the image. In order to move around the elements, I'm going to ungroup it. And then now I have each individual element that I can mess around with. And I'm just going to change them all to black since it's a coloring page, but you could keep it colored if you want. And then I'll just put my different elements on. And I think that's cute. And then I'm just going to add a to and from at the bottom. I'll make that black also. And maybe we'll add a little sentiment up here. Happy fall. Here's my final crayon card design. Now I'm going to do print and cut because we're going to have to print these parts on. So I'm going to need to flatten all of this as one thing. What we're going to have to do first is detach the shape with the score lines because the shape we're going to need to flatten it all with the art that's here. So we're going to need the score lines to be detached, otherwise we're going to end up losing them. So click on this part right here and then click detach. And now we can hide the score lines. So that way we know we're not going to mess around with them. Select everything. And then flatten. So now this becomes a print then cut layer, as it says right here and all of this stuff will be printed on. You can show the score lines again, and then take your print and cut layer and move it to the bottom so that the score lines are above it. I'm gonna grab this layer and right click, send to back. So now you can see the score lines right here. And now we can select it all and attach. That way it'll put the score lines in the right place. After you've done that, then you can go ahead and click Make It. You're going to have this black outline when you print it, so the Cricut will know where to cut. Press Continue, and then you'll want to send it to the printer. You can just uncheck the Add Bleed and click Print. When that's done, you can go to your Cricut. I set mine to cardstock because I printed mine on cardstock. I think that kind of a light cardstock is good to use for this project. 
Make sure that you put your scoring stylus in. That's really important so that it scores where you have to fold. And then just make sure you have your blade in. First your Cricut will scan to find the black line and then it's gonna cut it out. And there you have your finished crayon card. I hope you have fun with this project, making it your own. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.